Hey guys, David Fine and Lorenzo here from Keys Mods. Today, we are headed down to Key Largo, Florida because it is January 25th. Sorry, this didn't post until a little bit later, but I got a little backlogged in my editing. That's part of the deal as a YouTuber and a dad and a husband and a full-time guy. But anyway, we had a great time because we went down, right Lorenzo, we had a good time? Yeah. Beautiful weather. It was like upper 70s, not a cloud in the sky all day it was absolutely gorgeous and here's what happened guys today uh was native plant day in key largo and john penny camp state park hosts annually native plant day and so this is like an awareness day where we get together a bunch of booths there's i think there was like 17 booths i was one of them i was talking about how butterflies and moths of the florida keys are closely associated with all the native plants and how planting native plants is vital to the success of our environment and when you plant native plants in your yard uh, plants native to your area you're going to get butterflies that um that we you know that are in your area they're going to come for the nectar they're going to come for the uh i'm sorry i'm driving so i'm not looking at the camera i uh, hope you're okay with that but um you're gonna get butterflies that are attracted to the flowers, attracted to the host plants and moths. And here's the deal, moths fly at night, so we don't see them as often. But we had a good time. Uh, we met up with a bunch of our state park and national wildlife refuge friends. Uh, we saw Jeremy Dixon from the Nash, uh, Crock Lake National Wildlife Refuge. We saw the Duke Canals, which is always a cool thing. And, uh, and we saw them talking about exotic plants and how harmful um, they can be. So. Uh, Lorenzo, we had a good time? Yep. What was your favorite part of the day? What, what did you think was a uh, favorite part of the native plant sale? Uh, taking the pictures. Taking the pictures. We stopped at Robert is here. Got us some uh, South Florida in a can. Yeah, that's a mango smoothie. Um, Robert is here is a very famous place uh, down in um, Florida City and uh, out in the Redlands. So we got some fresh ground, uh, fresh Florida. blended um, stuff. Yeah, so yeah. Lorenzo, yeah. You, you went out and uh, did some good? photography, didn't yeah, you? Yes. I'm going to show you guys a little highlight reel of some of Lorenzo's pictures that he took at the uh, state park while we were at our booth and Lorenzo went walking around taking pictures. Here's some of the pictures that Lorenzo took with my Canon 60D and the macro lens and ring flash. Check it out. So guys, you know, uh, Native Plant Day was a great day. I took home some native plants that I intend to use for um, moth life cycle research. So we took home a rough velvet seed, um, locust berry. We took home quail berry. Um, let's see, I got um, a couple other things. Got the snow berry? Snow berry, snow berry. Yeah, we got some really cool things and we're gonna raise some moths. We're gonna do some life cycle work and we're gonna make some videos and, and publish some pictures so you guys can see all of that. But uh, we also got the opportunity to uh, walk around in some of the local hammocks, didn't we? Yeah, and we saw some cool things. In fact, we saw a good number of butterflies today. We saw a uh, mangrove skipper, which was cool. Uh, we did see uh, three spotted skippers. We saw Florida purple wings super cool we saw two florida purple wings and i was able actually able to get some video and pictures of some of those guys we saw some julias we saw phoebus agarithi large orange sulfurs um, we saw cassius blues uh, we didn't spend a whole lot of time looking for that stuff but we did find some of that and 
we actually found some silver banded hair streak caterpillars on some balloon vines, balloon vine seed pods. So that was pretty cool that too. That probably took the longest thing out of the whole entire trip. Yeah, it did. And uh, guys, but we really enjoyed our day. Hope you enjoy the video. Nice, it's a nice short video, but guys, plant native plants. Plant native plants in your yard. Uh, it helps bird life, it helps wildlife, butterflies, moths, they use them as host plants. Um, you don't even see all the good things that they do, but it's a good thing. So uh, get with a local Xeriscaper uh, near you wherever, you, wherever you live. It doesn't have to be just South Florida. Um, but if you do that, you can check out some uh, of the plants local to you that are good nectar sources and host plants and maybe berries from birds and, and insects and things like that. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. And uh, Lorenzo, you've been a good sport today. Good photographer. My little photography butterfly moth disciple, guys. I love hanging out with my boy. Uh, Till next time, guys, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care. Oh, check out the website, keysmoths.com. We got all 593 species of moths in the Florida Keys listed there for you. Photographs of all of them, as well as 100 butterfly species that have been found in the Florida Keys, and I've got most of the life cycle documented there. If you want to check that out, and a link to the YouTube channel, channel is there as well. So take care, guys. Enjoy South Florida. Bye now. All right, Lorenzo, we are going to go to a classic place on our way home from the Keys. Robert is here. Let's go get us a smoothie. What do you say? Yeah. Look at this place, man. Live music at a fruit stand. What do you think? Oh, right here, buddy. Uh, I think it's a smoothie line right here. Can you imagine waiting in a line like this? for a mango smoothie <laughs> only only robert is here man but it's worth it it's unbelievable the business they got going on here man this is a fruit stand <laughs> Yep, this is Florida. All right, bubba. Let's see if we can cross the. Let's see if we can cross the road without getting hit. Ready? Come on. Oh. I'm videoing it. Yeah. All right, here. Take take a sip. There, there's a straw right there. Sip. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. How does it taste, buddy? Okay. A real smoothie right there, fresh. Super good? Yeah, it's really good. Awesome. Guys, enjoy South Florida. Yeah. South Florida in a cup right there. Yep.